did you look like this? Or do you still look like this? This is how I looked while I was on prednisone. Check it out. Does it bear any resemblance? Hey. I am Dr. Megan, the prednisone pharmacist, and I took prednisone for nine months. This is what it did to me. And I want to share with you today steroid side effects because prednisone is a steroid, but not the kind of steroid that like Arnold Schwarzenegger would use. It's not for bodybuilders. In fact, it actually kind of does the opposite. It decreases your muscle mass. It wastes away your muscles. So it's definitely not something that anybody would use if they wanted to build their muscles and look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Prednisone is a steroid in a different class. There are different kinds of steroids. There are those kinds that they use for bodybuilders. Those are called anabolic steroids. That means it's building up their muscles. Then there are those like prednisone. Prednisone is a glucocorticoid or corticosteroid. That means it is messing with glucose and other um, systems in your body to help with inflammation and dealing with stress. It mimics cortisol, the stress hormone your body normally releases when you're struggling with, I don't know, a tiger coming to chase you down in the forest or not being able to eat. It is a hormone that saves lives that has allowed us as a species to not die in emergencies. But when we are taking prednisone, it is taking all of those emergency fight or flight crazy feelings and making them long-term and way higher than you could have ever done on your own without it. As a glucocorticoid, it is messing with glucose. That means it causes high blood sugar. It causes, with the high blood sugar, that causes weight gain. And so many people are surprised when their doctor prescribed prednisone that they're suddenly getting a face round as the moon and a belly big as a pregnant woman, even though there's no baby in, in there. They're not giving birth. I personally took it and I was like, guys, I look pregnant, but I'm... <laughs> I'm holding a baby. I actually had a little baby when I was taking prednisone. And I took it for nine months. And I went to pharmacy school and I took all these quizzes and tests. And I was surprised when I took it that what they quizzed us on isn't necessarily how I felt. And even more surprising, that that little piece of paper that they hand you at the pharmacy that's got all the side effects on it, wasn't what is actually normally felt. And I wondered why. And I did more research and I found out that prednisone is a super old drug. It was patented in 1955. And that's before the FDA required certain studies. And there's no drug company that's selling this for a high price. So nobody's doing a lot of research on it. Nobody's finding out, hey, what are all of the side effects? Normally a drug these days would say, okay, like the vaccine trials right now, they would test thousands and thousands of people and they would find out that of 10,000 people who took the drug, that 1,000 had insomnia or something like that. But that didn't happen with prednisone. All of this information, they just kind of gathered over time. There's not really any one source for it. And so you'll get the list from the pharmacy, and then you'll get a list from another source, and they don't actually match. They don't overlap perfectly. They're actually kind of like, like this. <laughs> like the, the lists don't make any sense. They're not based on any real data. And so what I did is I created a list of all of the prednisone side effects. You can find it on my website, prednisonepharmacist.com, and you can search it and find out, is this a side effect of prednisone that somebody's mentioned in the past, or is it something else? Like, 
do I have an infection or do I have cancer or do I just have a prednisone side effect? And you can look it up on there. Then I wanted to go through the top steroid side effects that you want to be aware of if you have been prescribed prednisone. And when I had gone through that list, well, creating that list on my website, I had to take data from this database and that one and all of this information to compile this list, 150 side effects long. Like it just goes on and on. I'm not gonna sit here and read it to you. I, I've done that before. If you wanna check it out, you can listen to me read this whole long list. I'm gonna hit on the ones that are important. The ones that people wish they'd known and that um, you might, not have been aware of and might not even show up on your list. Like I mentioned, insomnia. I'm going to start with that one. Insomnia is not on several of the top ranking lists. When you search prednisone side effects on Google, insomnia doesn't show up on a bunch of them, even though it's the number one tweeted side effect. Isn't that crazy? Like I just, I couldn't believe it when I realized that, that it's not on these randomly like created lists. And so if you want to know better, you should check out my website. So that's the first one is insomnia. Along with insomnia is emotional disturbances, roller coasters, crazy psychiatric feelings. And essentially what I want you to know is if you feel like you're kind of going crazy, it's not you. It's the drug. Prednisone is doing that too. You do need to get help if it's making you do things you wouldn't normally do. And there is help available, but just know that you are not a crazy person. You're just taking a drug that makes you feel crazy. All right. Okay. The next one is osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is when you, you lose bone mass and it makes your bones brittle and fragile so that they can break. And often you can see it when people's necks get hunched over. And so prednisone is the number one drug that causes insomnia. Or not, well, not insomnia, osteoporosis. It's the number one tweeted side effect is insomnia. All right, next is skin and hair changes. So I personally lost a third of my hair when I was on prednisone and I had to chop it off. And because I had, it was a third thinner below that. And it does weird things to your skin. So if you're having weird skin and hair changes, then eh, just blame it on prednisone. Next is the most discouraging and uh, one that makes you feel like a stranger, like you're wearing, in some, wearing somebody else's body. That it, you look in the mirror and you're like, who is that person? And that is the Cushingoid effects. That's the fancy side effect, the scientific way of saying it. But essentially it is when your face gets round like the moon, you get moon face. Your cheeks get all round. I was never so happy to see my my smile wrinkles again then after I stopped taking prednisone because they disappeared while I was on it. Um, and I was on it for nine months, but I'm in remission if you were just wondering. Then, along with the round moon face, also is the belly. So your prednisone makes your body lose muscle mass and gain weight and rearrange the fat from normal places into abnormal places like your belly, your neck, neck back area here. They call that the buffalo hump and so your moon face, buffalo hump and pregnant belly, but not pregnant. So that is the redistribution of fat that you should know about. And then I already kind of mentioned this when I talked about how prednisone is a glucocorticoid because it's messing with the glucose sugar balance in your body. And if you are being chased by a tiger, that's awesome that your body just released a whole bunch of sugar so that your muscles have energy to run away. That's really awesome. 
but not if you're just fighting an autoimmune condition or you just want to be able to open a bottle with your rheumatoid arthritis or some other great reason to take prednisone, you don't want the high blood sugar. And so that's a terrible side effect that happens because that high blood sugar leads to the weight gain and it leads to potentially diabetes. And all of that leads to potential other problems like cardiovascular disease. Prednisone can cause high blood pressure. It can cause pretty much every heart condition you've ever heard of. It can worsen that. So then I wanted to talk about other ones like your eyes. So prednisone can cause irreversible damage to your eyes. It can cause cataracts and glaucoma. And so whenever you're on prednisone, you should definitely get these things checked out. Definitely go and schedule a eye checkup while you're taking prednisone longer than a couple weeks. Okay, moving on. Infections. So prednisone can mask the symptoms of an infection. Maybe your fever won't be so high. Maybe you won't feel like you're you won't get flushed and red. Maybe um, you just won't even know that you're getting an infection until it's there. Or you can get crazy weird infections because prednisone is an immunosuppressant. And so you might get like thrush, which is a fungal infection in your mouth and your tongue turns white and your throat and it's you lose spit and oh, it's, it's miserable. There are things that can we can do to help you but I just want you to know that it can happen. These, these things all can happen. They don't happen to everybody, but pretty much everybody who takes prednisone gets at least one side effect. And like I mentioned, there are 150 on here. So the last one I wanted to talk about is right here. And that is the changes in electrolytes, fluids, vitamins, minerals. Prednisone is directly blocking your body's ability to absorb things like calcium. And that directly leads to the osteoporosis, right? And it's making you deplete things like potassium and magnesium that you really need to, keep, to stay healthy. But it's also holding on to things like salt so that you're getting all swollen and inflamed and feel awful. Well, it is an anti-inflammatory, so not inflamed, that's the wrong word, but you're getting all swollen, you're getting water weight. And so I created a prednisone wellness checklist. And on here, I went through the top side effects that people experience when they're on prednisone. And then I gave you ways to cope things that you can do on your own, and things you probably should get your doctor's help with because maybe you need a prescription or maybe they need to check you know, your eyes or do an x-ray or something. But at least you'll know what those things are once you get this checklist. Not only that, I also give you my top tips of what you can do to feel better while you're on prednisone. So you can get that at my website, prednisonepharmacist.com. And I'll have a link below that you can check out. So if you have been wondering what are the side effects of this steroid, this prednisone, now you know, and you have more information to help you cope. So I'm Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist, and I'm dedicated to helping you find ways to not just survive, prednisone, but thrive while on prednisone. Signing off and let me know how else I can help you as the prednisone